There's a place in the woods called Aspen Ridge. This is where we call home. We are the Popple People. Welcome to our channel. Thanks for stopping by. This is a slightly different kind of episode for us. This week, we had a problem with our on-demand water heater, and we wanted to show you how easy it was to fix it ourselves. Now, that being said, if you don't feel comfortable doing something like this yourself, definitely call a plumber to service your unit. It can be intimidating, especially when you pop that front cover off. So this is a U.S. Craftmaster GTU 510NI100 tankless water heater. This has run great for us for the past 9 or 10 years. We haven't had any problems with it. We took a gamble when we bought this one. It was a brand we hadn't heard of before, but it definitely paid off for us. We've been very pleased with this unit overall. So here's what happened. I was in the shower, just soaked up my hair, and the water went from hot to ice cold in about 15 seconds, and the water heater was beeping. Tater heard that, and he actually rushed into the utility room and saw fault analysis error code 391. We have the 510 model, so that, according to the manual, means an air-fuel ratio rod failure. And the manual recommends checking the wire connections, making sure neither of the wires are broken, and checking for soot on the flame rod. All the wires and connections looked good, so we ended up replacing the flame rod, which is what item number 108 was called on the parts list. We ended up ordering it online, and it ran about 10 US dollars plus shipping. So this is what that part looks like. Now, to do this replacement, first, always unplug the water heater. Then, you're going to need to remove the front cover. There were three screws holding it on, two at each of the top corners and one in the center at the bottom. Well, there's a lot going on in here. It's a little intimidating. But we were able to locate the flame rod, as you can see here. Next, there's a little on-off switch. And even though it's unplugged, we flipped it to off just in case. So the two wires were inspected. The manual recommended checking the connections and then making sure the wires weren't broken. All of that looked good. So Tater disconnected both of those wires, and he needed a small pick to get the larger wire terminal off. So here's where we're at, and this is what the disconnected flame rod looks like. Next, there was another smaller panel that needed to be removed, and once again, there were three screws that were holding that in. Now, when this panel was pried off with a small flathead screwdriver, it actually ended up tearing the rod holder gasket behind it. We'll have to order one of those and replace that as well. So if you're doing this repair, we'd recommend ordering both the flame rod and the gasket and replacing both at the same time. Online, these gaskets were about seven US dollars each. So the old flame rod was removed and then the new flame rod was inserted, as you can see here. And because the rod holder gasket was not an in-stock item here at Aspen Ridge, Tater ended up piecing the old gasket back in for now. And we'll just have to come back to that and replace this once the new one arrives in the mail. And that's really all there is to this repair. It's pretty straightforward pretty simple. After this, it's just reassembling everything and reattaching wires. So we put this little water heater in about nine or 10 years ago, and it has been fantastic. We've saved a ton of money on our gas bills. For example, in the summer, this is the only appliance we have here at Aspen Ridge that runs on natural gas, and our average utility bill for those warmer months is like 16 US dollars. We've recouped our costs countless times over. This water heater paid for itself in like a year, just in energy savings alone. If you'd like to get a hold of us with questions or comments, please don't hesitate to email us at thepopplepeople, all one word, at gmail.com. Or you can always plip plop a comment below. We love hearing from you. So here's the old flame rod. Doesn't look damaged or even particularly dirty, so we might try cleaning it up and holding on to it as a spare part. Well, moment of truth. Let's plug her back in and see if she works. Now, even though the utility sink is literally right next to the water heater, it does take a few seconds for the tankless unit to heat the water. So you never get instant hot water as soon as you turn on the faucet. Well, great success. There you have it. Fast and easy fix on this tankless gas water heater. Thanks for watching. 
If you enjoyed this video and want to follow our journey, please consider subscribing. That way, you can be a Popple People too. We'll see you soon.